Hey MacWarrior, welcome back to Plays MacWarrior 5. We decided to go ahead and jump Galactic South here to the this area where there were at least two Arandi Light Horse um, and see if we could pursue some missions that at least got us some mercenary points while we were waiting around for the uh, Thumpers and Linden company to at least appear on the map. As you can see, Thumpers is a hand, Linden's is a horse head. They are not here anywhere. So, they're the only two badges I know I don't have at this point. Um, while we're waiting on Clan to come, my intention was to finish out the mercenaries as well as get some uh, action going on Cantina missions, in particular the War Dog missions. Close them out. And it's funny because I've been going at this now for 12 game years, mostly just moving around, trying to find them, um, and still don't have War Dog 10 and still don't have the Bounty Hunter. And still don't have either here. That's going to be low tonnage anyway. Necromomo. Necromo? Sounds like something Vin Diesel would be in. And if you got the link to that, you watch a lot of movies. Good ones, too. That one. Uh, I'm gonna do them both. Because the last duel I was in, they didn't show. I thought they would, so that's just plain good money. But this one I think is going to be the mercenaries. I got lots of picks. I'll max them all. Well. I think we'll have to take the loss on that one. Everybody's skilled up quite a bit. See, when you have points that are over what you need and you do a training that's, you know, the overall general one, if you already have the points, it automatically advances you to whatever your maximum, excuse me, your maximum is, which is why Tanaka jumped to 86 under training and I jumped to 80. And that, 92 is the highest I've ever seen it go. I can't, that's 20 for some, some areas, so my bet is it can go... 20s all around. Allied command has provided us the last known locations of the target. They are more than likely going to stick to any one of the marked it's locations. It's windy out the there. Map. Once you neutralize them, head to the evac point <clears throat> for extraction. Something wrong, Commander. Say the words, Rihanna. <clears throat> Come on. Dang it. Not this time. Maybe at the end. Maybe it was too windy for him. I think my grandkids just got home from a day out with their dad, so... You hear some noise in the background, that's all that is. It's already on fire. Kill everything here first. It's about as critical as you can get. Need to get my mechs up here with me. I don't know why they're so far behind. Taro's got nothing but short range. Quick Draw's got a pair of AC5 burst fires. It might want to stand out, shoot from a distance. Up 
to the treasure to pick it up. Hmm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nav point. We might have more luck there. Just a rifleman. I don't think it's a real mech. Yeah, just a walk in the park. That was a bad shot. I'm jerk of the hand. That fast Irby? Nope. Maybe not. It's the AC-20 Irby. I didn't capture what she said except... Okay, capture that target. Is there a mech back there? There was. This will tell me where all the other enemy mechs are. And give me a chance to uh, refresh myself. The Ivy just rack them up. And just barely now in my range. And <clears throat> down a hill from both of us. Day, it's just the one. Uh, one of the ones we he's trying to run. No, he's not. He's dead. coming. Let's turn around and kill all these guys. sure what that's for. I missed the point on the rock. I thought I made it while well, sharing at the power off button. It's a powered down mix what that is, I think. I got a feeling I'm going to run up here and 
My pickup should run away, move away, and mercenaries should come down, hopefully. If not, I just got a bunch of cantina pluses, so still not a lose-lose. Yep, here we go. Tell my green diamond one's away that mercenaries are coming. Good to have everything out the way for him. Focus shooting, never hurt. It won't be many points, but I'll take what I can get. Move the chains. If I was playing for salvage, I'd run up and check out that powered down mech, but chances are it's a locust or a flea, just as well as a something, you know, something treasured. And I still got a long way to go till level 10. I only 190 points. That's going to be a long time coming. Uh, we got 24 picks. We'll just top that off and be done with it. It's just going to get sold. Hmm. Thumpers. having a hard hang up on got to go see what that hero mech is but I'd have got there and these guys would have disappeared perhaps and there's not a single mission they don't come on multi missions this is getting kind of tiring they need to fix the algorithm that generates these guys don't they Nope, already turned down the, uh, the gear. Just looking. I know I'm going to be slightly disappointed. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Something my mouse does, I don't know what. Or I wouldn't be doing it more than once. Yeah, no linden, no other thumpers, and no missions here. Eight. Rotation nine. This should pay more. I don't think that's going to do it for this level. That's good, because I don't want to do attack and defend. I'll do a beachhead, though, if the money's right. Attack and defends are a lot of fun, but they only generate uh, salvage, usually. 
unless Coyotes has updated that. I would say that's going to be a definite mercenary involvement with the 10 million basic payout for the same 270. Look at that. 75% kickback. The mission area is under heavy weather warning. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Well, who are we going to take? Everybody's been de-quirked, so... I'm not... Not seeing taken... Oh, hang on. Yeah. I want the A-team. 60 tons. Hey, Chainsaw, you got anything that weighs 60 tons? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that's embarrassing. <coughs> I always have stuff in the back of my throat. We are the vanguard for an imminent invasion of the area. Your job is to eliminate any defending forces and capture the enemy fortification. Destroy the radar dishes directing the anti-aircraft fire. <coughs> Once they're gone, our employer promises to land a few extra units to help you out. It's been my experience, they always show up, mercenaries always show up at the end of uh, beachheads. And you have to carefully ensure you kill the, the mercenaries before the mission ends. Because they come right at the end. With one more last wave still remaining. artillery. I am running the no artillery mod. I'm surprised it's still working this many DLCs in. It is, it does, and it's a good thing. There are people that have issues with artillery's rattling and loud noises. It makes it so I can't talk. I don't want to move, think, or do anything. I had no choice but run through it here. I don't intend to destroy it, but I will make it follow after me. Out of the area. I don't want to start the waves coming in until after I've gotten the artillery set up done. So I'm trying to move away and not, not attract them. Can't hit it. Too many rocks. Looks <coughs> like I got two of the defenders coming after me. Three. Not gonna let him shoot me up. 
some rough terrain. Hmm, got my antenna over here, if I can get around to it again. Hey, craters. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen yet. Far away to worry about. Let's get down to the base. It's much easier when it's all just downhill, isn't it? That's a big hill. Mm, good job on the IV-4. Sorry, Hacksaw. In the IV-4. Join our fa friends. Too far. That drops you a bat right there behind the gun. Okay. They're on the other side of the rim. They gotta go all the way around. Gallery. The heck is that? That's one set done. No, it's blue. Okay. Get back and capture the space.
I don't know why my friends always seem to think that capture means destroy. Dropship corner? No? Okay. Yeah, this is where I gotta worry about uh, leaving one of them with so many allies. If the mercenaries don't come pretty soon, it's not gonna be easy. That's the one. Where? Where? Come on, where? Give it to me inside the crater. Outside the crater and upper rim. Okay, now we can fight him. Perfect timing too. That's a beachhead with mercenaries. Not quite a very good get. I think that nine million was somewhat less than promised, but that's okay. Like I said, there's a first contact bonus, and you obviously don't get it second and third. The Battlemaster in there I could take, huh? Oh, it's a 2C. Old, ancient. Except for an EMS. Richard 2S. Headshot. Excuse me? And Tanaka is bruised. Not see a good reason why. Less damage than everybody. Well, <laughs> seven kills. I'm racking them up. I'm going to repair that and shove it to the side when it's done. I'm not sure why. I have more than enough max in cold storage. I thought I even had an archer over there, but I don't. I don't think I have enough uh, LRM max for when the time comes if I need a mission with LRM, so I'm gonna leave them. I got pretty babies, got a 15. Nobody else in here has a single LRM. And, uh, nope. Nope, that's not an LRM catapult. There are 15s at 65 tons, so... Yeah, even my stalker doesn't have... So, yeah. Folks, I'm going to call it an episode of Oval Plays Mech Warrior 5. Don't forget to come back and uh, visit me for the next episode, where maybe I'll actually get some mercenary badges. And uh, until then, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. See you later. Hope us out.